Hello everyone, this is Ricardo from Cisco Tech. In this video, I will show you how to recover a switch that is in a remote mode scenario. Let's get started. We will also discuss some reasons why a boot loop may occur. A boot loop may occur due to the various reasons, including a corrupted or missing iOS image file on the switch, incorrect boot variables set in the system, causing it to try to boot from a non-existent or invalid file. You will know you are in Roman mode when the console prompt display switch column. From here, we can proceed with the recovery steps. Using the available memory instance on the switch, we can access the version that been image that will help us to recover the system. Preferably, it's recommended to have a USB memory stick with the DatBeam files downloaded from the official Cisco website. Insert the USB stick into the available USB port on the switch. Once in a remote mode, use the set command to display the boot variables that the system used to initiate the startup. We can identify that the boot variable is set to use the flash instance and the file shown, which is likely causing the system to fail to boot. By executing the command dir usb flash zero column, we can access the files within the USB memory to ensure that the switch can identify the content inside. For the purpose of this video, we will only show the command to assign the USB memory and its content. We will use the file previously saved in our flash instance to help the system boot up and recover from the booting loop. Set the instruction by typing set boot equal flash column, file name that bin, and confirm with the set command to ensure the switch accepts the change. After this, use the reset command to reload the switch and apply the new boot instruction, confirming the switch starts correctly. Once the switch has recovered, we will demonstrate how to correctly copy and set the image from the USB flash. Using the command copy USB flash zero column file name that bin flash column, we ensure the that bin image from our external USB instance is copied to our local flash instance. Next, we apply the following configuration to correctly set up the switch boot process. Remove any undesired boot instruction with no boot system. Save the configuration and then set up our local instance with boot system flash column file name that bin. Press enter and save the configuration again. Finally, use do show boot to confirm the switch has correctly set our local memory instance with the iOS image. Thanks for watching.